select some text in Photoshop, then go to Type, and then down to Convert to Shape. So it's been converted to a shape, you can now manipulate it a bit more. Now the text can't be edited anymore. What you can then do is go here to Pass Selection Tool, deselect everything, so just click on the document, deselect it, then click on A. Now you can see A is selected, then go over here and select the Lasso Tool, Press L on the keyboard if you want a quick shortcut, and then draw around the A. And you can do that just all the way around, and then that's that. What you can then do, right click on your mouse. So right click, and there's an option here, Shape Layer via Cut. Select that, and then you can see now you've got A in a layer. And you can repeat this. So go back here to the B, A, B, C. This time, I'm going to select this, again, the Pass Selection Tool, select that, the B is now selected, and with that, I can go back to the Lasso Tool, and draw around that instead. And let's just go around, and obviously, now you could obviously repeat this if you've got 50 or 100 letters. It is a slow process, unfortunately there's no instant tool to do this. So again, right click, and then Shape Layer via Cut. And you can see then you've got A, B, and C. Obviously, you don't have to now do C. So select and deselect. All separated, I mean, you can go over here to the Move tool, and you can select each of those, and you can reposition them. And then you can go over here and say, you know what, I want a different color. So the way I do it, quite often, Custom Shape tool, select that, click here, and then click here and set the color. And of course, you can go to the B, and then Click there and set that to green and so on. So you've got ABC instead of one single word, it's now separate letters.